Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we're going to be watching Ford versus Ferrari. What do you know about it? Nothing, but I'm assuming they're sports cars. That's what I'm guessing, too. Uh, I haven't seen this. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, I know it's been requested quite a bit. Um, I don't know much about it. I saw the poster when I looked it up. Uh, so I know a couple of people who are in it, but I don't know what it's about. I'm assuming it's about race cars, but I I don't know who the main characters would be. I mean, I know there was actually a guy named Ferrari who created Ferrari, but I don't know what year this movie takes place. So, so I've got to say that I think I dislike when you haven't watched the movie. Mm-hmm. Because then I really can't ask what's happening, even though I feel like maybe I still do, but... You do. <laughs> yeah. But I really wish you would see the movies before I do. Well, I think this is fun, too, though. Sure. So, yeah, yeah. in this case, I have no idea what it's about. Um, like I said, I'm assuming it's about a ra uh, car race of some kind, just because Ford and Ferrari. I mean, I think that's pretty pretty uh, obvious. obvious. Um yeah, but other than that, I, I don't really know anything about it. So, yeah. Okay. So, looking forward to it, though. And I kind of don't like watching trailers because then I feel like I already know too much of the story. So, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's such Yeah, a some hard... trailers really give away too much. So, I'd prefer, like, just to go in, like, totally cold. Like, you know, but then you end up with a movie like uh, Train to Busan where we went in totally <laughs> blind, not having any clue what it was about. <laughs> And, you know, it was, uh, I mean, it was a great movie, but yeah, that was almost, kind of wish I'd known what I was walking into, yeah. but, but yeah. Agreed. So yeah, this one's totally blind, so we'll see. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Ford versus Ferrari. If you would like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else that we reacted to, we'll put the link to our Patreon down below. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on the notification bell. Notification bell so you get notified when, uh, whenever we upload new videos. And on that note, on with the show. Okay, it sounds like race cars. Yep. And why are we watching this? It was requested quite a few times. It's the Shelby Cobra. Oh, why is it on fire? It, is, it must have sparked or something when they... I, well, you get smoke coming out of you. Two laps up, my friend. Holy crap. Why is he on the wrong side of the car? He might be in Europe. He can't see anything. Who's in his head? Oh, no. The valve is shot, Shelby my opinion, you're lucky to be sitting here today. Well, I feel real lucky. Luckiest guy on earth. Just got a bad heart valve. I'm not gonna like this movie. Why? My mom had a bad heart valve. Is it gonna end well? I don't know. I know they still make Shelby Mustangs, so... <gasps> oh, 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 oh! Shelby was a jerk. You have to drive her like a spork. Drive like you mean it. Are you telling me I don't know how to drive my own car? If you ask me, this isn't your car. Your car's more uh, Plymouth Studebite. <laughs> Good lad, Richard! Another satisfied customer. But he drives like crap. Can I help you, miss? Wasn't that an MGA 1500? Ah, you know your cars. I love the sound they make, the way it goes right through you. Mine's the uh, wood paneled. Country squire across the street. <laughs> Is it fast? Very. What type of girl are you? Type of girl who likes the smell of wet gasoline. Are you some kind of a deviant? Only since I married you. <laughs> What's with all the suits? Shut it down, Mr. B. Everybody wore suits in the 50s. Hear that? That's the sound of the Ford Motor Company out of business. Okay, well we know that doesn't happen. My grandfather, Henry by God Ford, 
That morning, he had himself an idea that changed the world. Is this based on a true story? I think so. While you're walking, I want you to ruminate. Man comes to my office with an idea. That man keeps his job. Rest of you second best losers, stay home. You don't belong at Ford. Well, quite the leader. Let's have the glasses like him. Those are men in black glasses. Your trunk doesn't close. Car is disqualified from said no, classic. No, 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 no. Nothing in there about my trunk. You're holding the 62 edition of the SCCA. All hey, Bill, right. what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem is that Bill rules. here is but an arsehole. Is ah. Ah. Happy Bill! Well, it closed, I mean. Without sponsors, you get no car, Ken. Did you bring your son all the way out here to watch you get disqualified? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, you heard right. He's difficult. Well, that answers that. Oh, there's his son. <sighs> hey, your dad's got a temper there. Guy wins the 24-hour Le Mans, suddenly retires. It just don't make sense. Unless the rumors are true, of course. Oh, what rumors would those be, Sam? That Carol Shelby quit driving because he lost his nerve. Oh. <laughs> this just doesn't seem safe. Well, he's better than doing on city streets. <laughs> oh, no. Man, these cars are falling apart. <laughs> Why are they all? I don't know. Did he sabotage them all or something? Come on. Why is he standing there? I don't know, so they can see him. Well, looks like if you get hit from behind, you could like do some serious damage to your neck. <laughs> the IRS came. Uh oh. So just to be clear, we are boogered. Absolutely. Well, that changed tone. 1945, our soldiers came home. <laughs> 17 years later, those babies, they've grown. They've got licenses, but they do not want to drive the same dull 50s cars that their parents drove. They want glamour. It's time for the Ford Motor Company to go racing. We're already in racing Iacocca. Oh, the Iacocca. James Bond does not drive a Ford. That's because he's a degenerate. <laughs> the Iacocca, Ford Motor. One man assembles the entire engine by himself. What? One person that does the whole engine by himself? Everything hand built. That's why they're so expensive. <laughs> Ford Ferrari, 90% owned by Ford, who controls all production. Secondly, Ferrari Ford, the race team, 90% owned by Ferrari. Ford will pay the sum 10 milioni di dollari. I understood to be 10 million dollars. 10 million? Okay. Somebody's in a hurry. Yeah. Words out. Quindi Enzo mantiene il controllo totale della società. Fiat's coming in. Io sono la società per 18 milioni. All right, so he's offering 18 million. My integrity as a constructor, as a man, as an Italian, is deeply insulted by your proposal. Go back to Michigan, Di back Machina. to your big ugly factory making its ugly little cars. Okay. Tell your pig-headed boss that all his uh, <laughs> smug executives are uh, worthless sons of whores. Wow. <laughs> tell him he's not Henry Ford. Oh. <laughs> Did you understand all they were he was saying? Uh, some of the words, not all of the words. Hmm. He used us to up his price. What exactly did he say? <laughs> <laughs> he said Ford makes ugly little cars and we make them in an ugly factory. He said our executives are sons of whores. About me. He called you fat, sir. He said you're not Henry Ford. You're Henry Ford II. Ooh, that one got him. <laughs> now he wants to crush Ferrari. <laughs> We're going to put everything we can at this racing team. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ever knew any of this happened. I want the best engineers, the best drivers. I don't care what it costs. 
<laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of Mr. Ford, Henry Ford II. Suppose uh, he wanted his company to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? It takes something money can't buy. You need a car that's light enough to do 200 on the straightaways, but strong enough to keep that up for 3,000 miles without a break. Wow. So you're saying it's challenging? Yeah, it's challenging. Even if we wrote a uh, blank check. <laughs> yeah, I got his attention. <laughs> what I'm saying is you can't buy a win, but maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. <laughs> We're going to build a car to beat old man Ferrari with a Ford. Correct. And how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? <laughs> Ninety days. <laughs> Ninety days? <laughs> Ford Mustang. What do you think? I think it's the secretary's car. Secretary's car. Mind if I take a shot at the landing? Flew a B-29s out of San Antonio, Ford Four. In Kyrgyz. I did. Oh, oh, oh my god, is he gonna scare everybody? Everything all right up there? Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. You're gonna throw up. <laughs> Mr. Lindbergh. Lindbergh. <laughs> like my cars, I'll make this fast. And together, we're gonna build the fastest automobile in the world. And we're gonna make history too, at Le Mans. Wow, they were pretty bold. Oh, look at the doors. That's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I thought it was tea tops. Did you go any place last night? Bloody hell, what are you doing? What is this? Please slow it down, all right? You're trying to kill us or something? I saw you leaving with Shelby and I saw you coming back. Okay. Bully, put on the brakes right now. Or Not I'm gonna... until you tell me what's going on. I went to look at a car. With a light. Slow down. <laughs> Oh, crap. Ford has a car that they want to put up against a Ferrari. It's homie, you quit. Why is she so bad? Are you upset because I said I was done or because I looked at a race car? Don't make it a secret what you want or what you feel just because you, you think it's going to make me happy. Mol, well, I don't even know what I feel. Oh, she stressed me out. <laughs> if you do this, to be paying you this time. It's 200 a day, plus expenses. Are you shitting me? That must be a lot of money. $200 a day. That must be a lot. <laughs> I'll definitely have to look that up. <laughs> this car wants to go faster. He's outputting max horsepower from this displacement. Put in a bigger engine. Where are we gonna put it on the roof? Seems like it would take longer than 90 days to do this. I mean, like, build an engine from scratch. Well, they already have all the parts. So, you already put that in a GT40? I'm afraid we have. Perhaps you want to check with HQ before you test. What do you say? We should ask. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> What's the lap record here, Bert? 158? 150, dead. Wow. You know, Lee here asked me a while back, what's the one thing money can't buy? A pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. Well, be that as it may, we think he may be too pure. What exactly does that mean? It means he's all about himself. Shit, you get Doris Day to drive the car if all you want to do is lose. Put a Ford-type driver in the Ford car, Mr. Shelby. That's the Ford way. No, well, Ford way's been losing for the last several years, so... You're not coming, Ken. It's Ford's call. It is their opinion that you are not a good image, so you cannot drive their race car. Tell the boys to watch their pace. The, uh, the gearbox will overheat. I like those glasses. Can't erase the start, son. Want it on the radio? Uh, not unless you do. 
I expected him to be a lot angrier about it. I'm sure he's disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna go listen. Yeah, he wants to listen to it. Though. Who's there? What's that you're listening to? Uh, some race over in France. It's not exactly champagne. She kind of looks like the lady from uh, the Cinderella Man movie, but that's not the same one, right? No. Oh. Is she shaking because she's scared? <laughs> I don't know. Give me one reason why I don't fire everyone associated with this abomination. We haven't worked out how to corner yet. Or stay cool. Or, hell, right now, we don't even know if our paint job will last a whole 24 hours. But our last lap, we clocked 218 miles an hour. Old Enzo ain't never seen anything move that fast. And now he knows we're faster than he is, even with the wrong driver. I'd say you got Ferrari exactly where you want him. You're welcome. <laughs> See that little building down there? Three out of five U.S. bombers rolled off that line. You think Roosevelt beat Hitler? This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone war in Europe. We know how to do more than push paper. And there is one man running this company. You report to him. Yes, sir. Go to war. No more committees. <laughs> no more. that BS. How did he know he wasn't home? It was Saturday. We're going back, Ken. Well, the, uh... Ice cream's milk. You want me to apologize? <laughs> Ken, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now knock it off, Ken. We got work to do and this car ain't gonna build itself. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, car sales! Oh, shit! <laughs> she just gets a chair. <laughs> Hit it with bread. Yeah. Oh, darling. Yes, love. Do the fizzy pop, please. You want one too, Shelby? No. Oh, yes, please, no. Molly. No. Yes, love. <laughs> Such a nippy, nippy bloody thing. I call that the llama so bite. <laughs> Where you learn that? All the Girl Scouts. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. He's got brake fade. Oh damn. Can they see that? Yeah. Oh crap. <gasps> oh shit. How did he walk away? Have you ever been on fire? No, no, it's never happened to me. The suit's flameproof. But Lewis haven't been to that. He had a flameproof suit on. See, he got stuck. He couldn't breathe. So as long as you get out of the car, you're okay. Dad got out. Wow. Oh, God, what is he going to tell him? Mr. Ford, this is a surprise. The man pays $9 million for an automobile and to at least be able to see it. It's burnt. Uh, firstly, I want to just clear the air. Oh, I appreciate that, Leo. I have been appointed overall executive director of the racing program. And I, I do hope that this won't be a problem between us. Well, I assure you, Leo. He's going to lock him in there? The hell? Well, why South don't we take State? it for a spin? Did you see what nine million dollars feels like? Oh! oh God! Sat on my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? The name on the middle of that steering wheel should tell you that I was born ready, Shelby. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Tell me more about that name on the steering wheel nonsense. Now, this is not a machine. Does anybody can get in and easily control? I had no idea. Now, you want to win Le Mans. Ken Miles is the man to do it. Now, you let Ken Miles race Daytona. If he wins, he gets to drive Le Mans. And if he doesn't? Ford Motor Company gets full ownership of Shelby American. Oh. Oh, shit. He's betting everything on him. Yeah. Daytona 24, and Fords are dominating the lead. Crab. After 23 hours here at Daytona, a commanding lead over 10 miles in Shelby, America. I can't radio in. I have to hold signs up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say 7,000. Yep. <laughs> That's pushing the engine. But I guess at this point, you're, you're going to lose. You can give it everything you got. She could come apart. One way to find out. What does it say? 7,000 go like what? Go like hell. Oh, it's a red line. <laughs> Final turn. Oh, shit. He's like in some serious red line. Yes, Leo. Mr. Ford, sir, we, we won. And which team was it, Leo? Shelby American, Miles Driving. Son of a bitch. <laughs> How many cars are there? I don't know. I like that handwriting on his helmet. I wish I wrote like that. <laughs> they have to run to their cars. Uh, it's kind of weird that they have to run to their cars. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh no. Oh, oh! His door doesn't close? It didn't the first time. Or the third. Yeah. What happened to Miles? One lap. We're not. This is the first lap. Oh crap. He's gonna let the door go and it'll just. Yeah. Somebody's gonna knock it off or something. Yeah. You'd think the wind force would keep it closed at those speeds. Place. Where's Miles? Does he have to have a door? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Bloody door won't close! <laughs> that's not a good look. Go, 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 go. Jeez. Is something going to happen where he can't get out of the car? Oh, shit, yeah. That seems dangerous now. Oh. Holy crap. I would not be standing there. That seems like a, like a bad idea. Everybody's way too close to the race track anyway. Three minutes, 31.9. That's another lap record. Of 142. Another track record? Damn. Lap record. Yeah, lap record. Ah. They can still open it. If you hadn't blown the start, you'd be in the lead. Can you keep this up? Can the car. Yeah. What blew up? Two cars collided. Mm -hmm. That's what they Is said. this guy driving right into it? Oh shit! Oh, oh. oh shit! All right, so you just need to finish now. It seems like it's starting to rain. But Ferrari's out of the race, right? One of their cars is. I don't know if all of them are. How many cars do they have? I don't know. Steals theirs. This has got to slow them down, right? It's going to slow everybody down, I would think. How well would the windshield wipers even work at that speed? Oh. oh. Is that a tire? I don't know what he did to him, but did he bump him or something and knock out his tire? No, I thought it was just a tire. I don't know. He said, you asshole. Oh, that's kind of shitty. Oh! I stopped. You want one? They're Italian. 
that's the that's Ferrari, the Ferrari in the lead, yeah. He didn't get to see it? Yeah. He's trying to pull him in. Mm -hmm. to, gonna lose time. What an asshole. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. He, he's got to slow down. He's oh, faster. Oh, oh. Mm. They're going to try and swap everything out. No, oh, here we go. This is. I think he'd wear gloves. That shit would be hot. Yeah. What are they They're changing out the the brakes. Oh. It's against the policies or whatever. You show me where it says in your book that we cannot swap out the system. Calm down. This is not. Oh, is you not show me where it says in that little. <laughs> We read your damn rule book. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. He's hot. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Die, Foster. I don't know speak Italian, but he ain't happy. <laughs> you can still take him, but you gotta pass him twice. I get it. Pass him twice. He should have already been in the car. God, this is so nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so he passed him once. Yeah. <gasps> Why didn't they um, bring that other car, the Ferrari, in? I don't know. Thinking that they missed a bolt. I don't know. You know you bastard? He sees him. Holy shit, can you imagine 200 miles an hour? He's there. He's faster. The question is, is there a turn coming? Is there a turn coming? Oh. Holy shit. His red line's a lot higher. <gasps> oh, oh! Oh, he blew it. <laughs> he shows back up at the end. You missed a good meal. <laughs> you missed a good meal. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, Mr. Ford, wouldn't it be great if all three Fords crossed the finish line at the exact same time? Miles is laps ahead. <laughs> what would you have him do? Slow down? Yeah. I don't like this guy. I hope this guy says, screw you, I'm not slowing down. I would hope that he wouldn't. He thinks yeah. it'll be a historic moment for Ford. It'll make a great photograph. Shelby Miles needs to be a team player here. This is what Mr. Ford wants. Go on now. He expects loyalty. Go on. He expects loyalty? Is that what he said? Something this is like the that. Mafia or something? They want you to slow down. Wouldn't that bother me again? The Deuce wants the three Fords to cross the finish line one, two, three all together. No. <laughs> They're asking that you be a team player and mm -hmm. make that photograph happen. Look at that photo. That is good. Mmm. Can't even if you tie for first. He'll still be the first man ever to win Sebring, Daytona, and Le Mans in the same year. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. My choice. Your choice. He's going to just tear the record apart, I bet. No, he's going to be a team player. You think so? Yes. <laughs> he's going to be a team player. You think so? Yeah. I don't think so. That's not his character. Not to this but that, point. But that's why. Why would anybody stick their hand out there? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna... Uh, Don't answer that! Get away from him! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to go down there. But I thought he didn't have any more brakes. Brakes are hot. I told you, he's gonna go... He's gonna go all out. I kinda felt like he wasn't, though. He's gonna have this perfect lap. That's what he's gonna be. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Come on! 
What the? Over 220? 330.6. That's another record. It's a perfect lap. Bring him in. Bring him in, Shelby. Or I will get you banned from the SCCA and the FIA. Do Ten it. miles behind the wheel, Leo. That's his car to the finish. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, what's gonna happen? What's happening? I don't know. Okay. You've proved it. Just slow down now. He's gonna slow down now. He just wanted to beat his own record. Oh, so now he's gonna he's gonna wait for the other Fords. Uh-huh. So he did both things. He uh so he proved it. Mom, why is he slowing down? The three Fords are going to cross the line together! No. It's all Dad. It's all right. I think they let him go first, though. so he actually still won. I mean, I bet that did make a good shot, like for the for the papers. Sure. No, because McLaren Look, because McLaren started the... further back. He's yes. saying he's travelled that little bit further, so he's one and not ten. This... What? They're saying one of the other Ford guys had to go further. Where's the goddamn tie? So hey, 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 you knew. You knew. Thanks, mate. Congrats. Yeah, they're saying the other guy won because he had to go further. I robbed you, Kim. McLaren has been ruled the winner as he started from farther back. Because he started further back? Yeah, so I guess when they all started the race, remember he was in front? Mm-hmm. I never should have asked you. You promised me the drive, not the win. I was thinking bonded aluminium. You can lose a couple hundred pounds. Well, what the hell are we doing here? Hmm. So they got a new car. They've updated it. What do you think of those honeycomb panels? I don't know yet. Oh, so this is going to be fast now. Reduced a bunch of weight. There's a point, 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. And all that's left is a body moving through space and time. You feel it coming. Creeps up on you close in your ear. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. The only question that matters. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, it was really good. Nice and smooth. Where's the other guy? Hey, Shale. That's that the guy, dog. you know, the one in the hat, he flew in from Galveston. Uh huh. I need you to come outside for maybe a minute. Come outside and say hello. Am I some kind of a lounge act? No. Am I here to talk people into things? It's been six months, Shell. Sometimes they don't get out of the car. Oh. Not the ending of this movie I was expecting. Shelby, I remember that wrench. My dad threw it at you. I believe you did. Came to say hello, check in on her, and then I started thinking sometimes words just are, are not useful. Tools are useful because you can make stuff with them and you can fix stuff with them. Thanks. He was your friend. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, sir. And he thought you was just finer than frog fur. At least she doesn't hold it against him. You know? Whoa. 
Yikes. That dude was just coming out no matter what, wasn't he? The group by racing has grown from 10 miles as well. Here, I'll show you. Successful celebrated sports car 40 developed by Shelby and Miles. Whoa, four years in a row. Wow. Okay, that was Ford versus Ferrari. What did you think? That was good for a racing movie. Good for a racing movie. Yeah. Does that mean you wouldn't have liked it otherwise? Or, I mean, is it. Well, I. Was it not good overall? And I think that. Um, I don't know what I think. I just. I. I enjoyed it. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know any of the history behind it, so it was all, you know, all new to me. Um, I did not expect that ending, though. Yeah. I did not expect him to, to die outside the race. I mean, mm -hmm. I figured, okay, he won, happy ending, yay, and then he gets screwed out of it, and it's like, well, hold on, what? Okay, so still semi-happy ending, I guess? Yes. Yeah, he was content. Yeah. I almost expected, like, what they were going to do was, you know, they're going to show him training, you know, we're going to make some changes, and then, you know, like, really quick go to the next year, him actually winning and just destroying the competition, and, you know, that would be the end. I did not expect the uh, the death, um, you know, the whole end there with his It was son. pretty sad, yeah. That was yeah. sad. Yeah, it was very sad. Um, I am glad the wife didn't, uh, you know, blame him for it. You know, she seems okay, you know. Hey. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was a good movie. I can see why a, a lot of people recommended it. Um, I'm, I'm glad a lot of people recommended it because it probably isn't one that I would have gone to watch on my own. I, I really expected, like, you know, okay, it's just going to be about, like, the Indy 500 or something. And, mm -hmm. you know, okay, hell. All right, you know, maybe someday. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a good movie overall. I mean. How many tissues did it get? Just one? Just one. A pretty soaked one at the end, though. Hmm, okay. All right. Well, anything else you want to say? Nope. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Ford versus Ferrari. If you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we reacted to, we'll throw the link to our Patreon down below. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification so you know when we have new videos go up. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.